Welcome back to Talk of the Town. I'm sitting here with Carrie Julian, who is from Friends of the Henry Vilas Zoo Foundation. Welcome to the program, Carrie. Hey, Justin. Good to be here. We're really excited to have you because, as I understand it, the uh, Henry Vilas Zoo here in Madison is go undergoing uh, one of the biggest transformations in its 100-year history. Tell us a little bit about, <laughs> first, the, the history of the Henry Vilas Zoo. Well, this is an exciting time. 2015 is a hugely exciting time to be part of the zoo. Um, but going back 100 plus years, Henry Vilas and his wife gifted the land to the community to be used and set aside as a zoo. So we have that 100 plus history. And then Friends of the Zoo, we've been around just about that amount of time as well. We have a long, prideful history of um, helping fill the operations gap and building out new exhibits, renovating antiquated exhibits. So, but this is going to be a big year for us, yes. Yes, yes. Well, we're very excited to see the changes uh, when, uh, when, we can, when we can get over there. Um, this, one of the great things about the Henry Vila Zoo is that it is free. It does not require, there's no admission fee or anything. My question is, how do you guys um, feed the animals and give them veterinary care if the zoo is free? Really good question, Justin. So um, Henry Vilas, um, in his wisdom, gifted a, to be a free in, in, on all accounts. So parking is free, bringing your family is free, so it's an amazing resource to the community. Um, so Dane County, um, we have a, a unique partnership with the county, the Friends, and the city of Madison, um, but Dane County provides the majority of operating expenses in their budget, and then we fill the gap. We also work on capital campaigns to build out new exhibits, such as the Arctic Passage, which is coming in 2015. And that's one of the big May. ones, the big, the big changes. This is huge, yeah. We had, um, if you've been there in the last year or two, you've noticed that end of the zoo has been very quiet. Mm -hmm. And um, we let our bears live out their lifespan. And we had a grizzly that passed a couple years ago, and then you might remember the polar that passed last year. And we have an amazing history of animals living out a very long lifespan at, at the Henry Vilas Zoo. So once they passed, we had a plan in place. The plan has actually been in the works for about 10 years. And with the recession and um, appetite for financial investment and that kind of thing, um, we've um, carved out an, an amazing plan. So when they had passed, we were able to get going and, and um, have the groundbreaking. And so now we're gonna have this amazing exhibit in May, um, open to the public Memorial Weekend. Perfect weekend to open. Mm -hmm, We're mm -hmm. very excited to see that. And I've got a couple of kids, so we'll probably be there. Oh, so, great. Yeah. Great. So um, tell us a, specifically, how does Friends of the Zoo raise, raise money? Yeah. So every dollar you pay for food sales mm -hmm. and concessions at the zoo goes back into animal care. So for example, it costs $50 a day to feed just one orangutan. Mm. So it's, it's a, it costs a lot to maintain the standard and the quality we as Madisonians want for our animals. Um, but we rely heavily on public donations. You'll see donor tubes at the zoo. So there's no required admission fee, no required parking. But we ask sometimes that folks, if you're bringing in a picnic lunch, I didn't know this, and I would bring in a picnic lunch with my kids, mm -hmm. um, six, six, and five. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> And what, but, but the awareness, once you start to realize, like, oh, if I, you know, we're, we're providing subs and some more health, healthy options in terms of the menu. Mm -hmm. And with the Arctic Passage, we have a first time ever an, an enclosed restaurant on site. So we'll have, wow. you know, portobello mushroom sandwiches and, and a variety. We'll still have the yummy stuff kids want when they have an outing. Mm -hmm. But um, we're going to provide a more healthful menu. And you can have business meetings on site, you know, in the winter months when it's quiet and parking is available. Um, so there's just so much, so much happening this next year. And in, in terms of food, you mentioned that, um, you know, the, the proceeds that you, or the revenue that you collect for the food actually goes to a good cause. It's not just so that somebody, you know, upstairs can make money. It's, it goes to the animals. Absolutely. We're a not-for-profit and, you know, our goal is to do better than break even every year, but we're, no, we're not, we're not rolling in, in the black <laughs> yet, but maybe the next couple years, you right. know. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So tell us, uh, very, <clears throat> we just have a few seconds left. Can you tell us, um, we, we missed the elephants. Can you tell us what happened to the elephants and why we no we longer that's them. a great question, Justin. We get asked that a lot. Mm -hmm. And I asked that too when I came on five years ago. Um, so in a, in a very good and humane way, standards of accreditation have changed over time. Mm -hmm. So in terms of conservation, 
um, the community, especially Madison as well, has, has gone from a more of an entertainment of animals mm -hmm. to conservation of endangered species. So elephants require now, um, we, we couldn't do this unless we had five acres per one elephant. And our, our zoo is a bit landlocked in the city, mm -hmm. which is a great resource and you know no commute kind of thing, 27 acres. Mm. So elephants just don't fit our profile any sure. longer. Sure. Yeah. And we've got some other new species coming in this year too. The Somali wild ass is a beautiful creature. And again, we're choosing that versus a zebra, which are plentiful, but the, um, that species, there's only 600 left in the wild, 60 in captivity. So we have two of those coming in January. Carrie Julian, thank you so much for joining us. When we come back, we'll have Jenny from Inspiration Speaks in our studio. Don't go away, it's right here on Talk of the Town. Thank you.